Last winter, I saw the most amazing camper van build, and I've been kind of obsessed with it ever since. Not only was it gorgeous and functional and minimalist, it was affordable. I was shocked when the owner told me how much she paid, and I'll tell you that seeing that van completely opened up my eyes to another option that's out there in the camper van world, and so today, I wanted to tell you guys about it. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. So this last January, I had a meetup for my patrons in the California desert. And one of my patrons rolled up in the cutest little 136 inch wheelbase snub nose Ram Promaster camper van that I absolutely fell in love with. Look at the inside of this van. I thought it was one of the most gorgeous builds I had ever seen. And when she told me how much she paid for it and the process that she went through to get it, I was absolutely stunned. The van was built out by a company called Wayfair Vans that's in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I will put the link for them down below. But here's the thing. She never went there. She was never there for her build. She lived in a completely different state. She worked with them online to choose her floor plan, and they helped her source the van, and then they built it and delivered it to her. Now, that's how she wanted to do it. Of course, you could go there if you end up working with Wayfair. But I thought it was very cool that they make it that easy. And not only that... A lot of these camper van companies have like a year waiting list and it takes forever to build out the van. That is not the case with this company. It's just a few weeks. You can check out their website to see what the timing is right now. Now I'll tell you guys, when I saw this van, I had only been in my new 16 foot Airstream for three months and I loved it so much it actually had me really second guessing the decision to get the Airstream because vans are so rad. You can go so many more places and get into little tiny spots and stealth camp overnight and they're a lot less of a hassle than a lot of other rigs and believe me, I know because I've had five. So of course, I've thought about getting a van before but they can be so expensive now. I mean, these class B camper vans can be $150,000, $260,000. And I'm not going to spend that on a camper van that's a depreciating asset. But when I looked at building out a van, that seemed really daunting to me because you have to, you know, build the walls and put in the studs and do the ceiling and do the power and make sure it's insulated so you don't freeze. And I'll tell you, that I have seen a lot of really janky camper vans out there on the road that people build themselves, which is great. But I think a lot of times when they go to resell them, the inside of the van is actually a little bit trashed. So that's the paradigm I had. Super expensive or super janky. But when I discovered Wayfair, I discovered another option. And that's what I want to tell you guys about today. So this past summer, when I was traveling through Colorado, I reached out to Wayfair and asked if I could come in and learn more about their vans and interview them and see their facilities. And they were so great. So I went in and I met Ian, the owner, and the entire team. And I got to see some of the vans that they had in process that were being built and some of their own personal vans that were on the property. And I got to go back and see their manufacturing facilities. And that's when I found out how Wayfair provides a turnkey camper van solution that is affordable that you can drive right off the lot and it's ready to go. I'm going to show you more of that in just a second, but first let me tell you how the Wayfair process works, which is very cool. First of all, you bring the van. So you can get a used van that you already have or buy one or get a new one or Wayfair partners with a bunch of dealers to source vans for you. So whichever way you go, that's the first thing you need to do is you need to decide what kind of a van you want. They do Ford Transit and Ram Promaster vans in different sizes. You can see it on their website. Then look at some of their pre-configured floor plans, but your van may not end up that way in the end, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But just choose one of the floor plans that you think works for you and then it goes over to what they call a journey architect. And then they build it out for you and it's ready to go. You can pick it up there or they'll deliver it to you. And here are three things that are really great about Wayfair. First of all, if you finance the van with one of their dealer partners, you can roll the entire cost of the camper van build into the car note. 
so you don't have to save up a big sum of cash to get your camper van built and get out on the road. The build that they do is completely turnkey. So what I mean is the walls are completely built out and well insulated and covered and they have a ceiling and flooring and furniture and a bed and a kitchen sink and everything that you need to get started. Plus they have some extras that you can add on like a furnace. And here's where the Wayfair magic really happens. All of the furniture that's attached to the floor, like the boot boxes and the cubby and the kitchen and the table, are all movable because they're attached onto a track system on the floor. And you can literally reconfigure your entire floor plan yourself with a socket wrench in just a couple of minutes. So if you need to fit some skis in there or you've got some dogs or you wanna take stuff out and turn it back into a camper van so you can sell it, you can do that really easily. And here's what's really great about that. Since I've been on the road, I've had five different vans because my life changed or my needs changed. And I think having a modular system like this would really be great when you're new on the road because as you figure out what you need and what you don't need, you can easily change it without having to go out and get a completely different rig. Now let me show you the Wayfarer's system, which makes the camper van build really affordable. Ian took me back into their production facilities and showed me how they pre-assemble all of the modular components, which is what helps keep their builds so much less expensive than the competition. Every piece is pre-cut and then assembled by a team, so it's ready to go. And then once you're ready to have your build done, they install it in just a couple of days. The Wayfarer philosophy is to keep the build simple so you can make it your own. And I tell you, that's really appealing to me because there's a lot less components and a lot less stuff to break. There is a kitchen with some storage and a sink and a faucet, but underneath that, there is a three gallon fresh water jug and a three gallon gray water jug. So you just go fill up that water and dump out the gray, which is appealing to me because you can fill that water at a grocery store. I am always on the hunt for a spigot and a dump station and that gets really old. With the Wayfair van, you don't have to do that. I would probably carry a couple of extra jugs of fresh water so when I go boondocking, I can last even longer out on the road and I would have a composting toilet put in or a cassette toilet which you can attach right down to the floor or just put a luggable loo inside of one of their boot boxes. Now, there's not a shower, and I think that's going to be a hang-up for some people, and it would have been for me too, until I started living in this 16-foot Airstream. And I'll tell you guys, I don't like to shower in here. I have a wet bath, but I have such a tiny water tank that it completely drains my water as a boondocker to shower here. So I usually seek out campground showers or truck stop showers. And so since that paradigm has shifted for me, I get that having a van without a shower is just fine if you're a traveler, but to each his own. Another thing that is really appealing to me about that is that because there's no plumbing, you don't have to winterize and dewinterize this rig. I'll tell you guys, I come to Colorado to visit my family for Thanksgiving, and then sometimes I leave, and I come back for Christmas, and then I leave, and every time I go over a mountain pass, I have to winterize and dewinterize and winterize and dewinterize, and it is a hassle. With this kind of a setup, you don't need to do that. You just keep it moving. And there's a ton of storage underneath the bed. I actually measured it. There's more storage there than there is in my 16-foot Airstream. And they have some really cool configurations so that you can store stuff underneath or on top with the bungee system. And if you want to put some stuff back there like some mountain bikes, they have risers that will make the bed higher. And tall people, be sure to go over to their website and check out the floor plans because they're the only camper van company I've seen that has a configuration that is made for tall people. I've had so many rigs since I've been on the road and I wish that I had seen this solution earlier because I think it's great for so many people. You don't have to spend six figures on a camper van and you don't have to get a cargo van and live inside of it sitting on a milk crate. There is another solution out there. I'm going to put the link for Wayfair down below, along with the link for the Facebook group, which calls themselves the Wayfarians, so you can see what people do with these camper vans. I hope this video has helped you. If you want to get out on the road, either part-time or full-time, there's a lot of opportunities out there to do it right now. I'll see you guys next Sunday with an all-new video. Until then, everybody out there, 
Have happy travels and be free. Thank you.